folks, I'm the Lost Mapper, and in this video, I will show you the basics of getting started making maps with QGIS. QGIS is a free and open source geographic information system that runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux. You can download it from QGIS.org. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and save a QGIS project, how to add a reference layer using OpenStreetMap, how to move and zoom around a map, how to create spatial bookmarks so you can easily get to where you want to be, and how to create a print layout of your map and export a PDF of it. For this video, I'll be using QGIS version 3.32.2, and I'm on macOS Ventura, which is 13.5. So the first thing I suggest is making a dedicated folder for your projects on your computer. You can call this GIS or mapping. And inside of that folder, you should create a folder for each of your projects. So in this instance, I will make a folder called interesting uh, places. And then we can head on over to QGIS. So to create a new project, you can come up to the project toolbar and click new project. Uh, you can also go to the project menu and choose new or you can hit Command N on the Mac. That will create a new project. Uh, and then the next thing you wanna do is set some properties for that project. So we'll come up to Project and choose Properties. And I suggest giving it a title. So we'll call this Interesting Places. And hitting OK. That's the only thing we need to set right now. Uh, and then we're going to save that file, that project. So we'll click save, we'll navigate to the folder that we made, and we can just call that interesting places as well. So now this is saved, we can reload it, uh, we can save as we're working and our progress will be uh, saved. So this is on the right here, this is the main map area, this is your map view. And right now there's nothing there, there's no way to know where we are. Um, but we can use something called OpenStreetMap in order to give us a sense of where we are. So we head over onto the left to the browser and we wanna open up what's called XYZ tiles. There's an entry called OpenStreetMap. We can either right click on this and say add layer to project, or we can just double click on it. And we can see now that we have an OpenStreetMap layer. Um, now what we'd like to do is actually be able to move and zoom around the map. So uh, if we head to the map navigation toolbar, there's a bunch of tools here. Right now we've got this move tool. We can we see we can move around the map, but that's not particularly useful if we are uh, you know zoomed out this far. Uh, if we head over to the plus sign here, this magnifying glass with the plus and click on that, we now have a zoom tool, which we can actually use to click and drag to a specific area that we want to be in. And we can progressively get to the area that we want to be. Um, so I can just keep clicking and dragging to get further and further into the map. Uh, and then I can go back to the hand tool and start to pan around that map and go to different locations. So a potentially faster way to find what we're looking for is actually to use the locate bar down in the lower left. So if we come down here, we see we have a bunch of options available to us. We can actually do a bunch of things from this bar. But if we type the greater than symbol shown here, highlighted in gray, and then type the name of a place. So let's try Easter Island. What that's gonna do is uh, hit some server out on the internet, do a search for that and come back with a bunch of results. And we have a bunch here. I'm gonna actually go with the first one since that's what I'm looking for. I will click on that, double click on that. And it's gonna take me pretty much near Easter Island. I can then go back to my zoom tool and actually get closer to what I'm looking for. Another way to navigate to a location is by using its lat long coordinates. So if we happen to say have the lat long of Stonehenge memorized, we can come down to this bar and you can type go and then the Latin long of that location. Press return and we'll jump to it. 
And you saw there was a little red circle here. If we switch to our zoom tool again and zoom in, we can get to Stonehenge. So as we move around the map, as we zoom and pan, QGIS is actually keeping track of where we've been. And there's a history here via the zoom last and zoom next buttons. Um, so we can actually click on that and get back through the different places that we were. And then also use zoom next to go back to where we ended up. Um, while you could potentially rely on these to move around the map, what can be really helpful is to make some spatial bookmarks. So if you head over here to new spatial bookmark or under view, you can also find new spatial bookmark or you can hit command B. So let's choose that. And it's going to ask for a name of the bookmark. So let's call this one Stonehenge. Uh, I would leave the group as it is. Don't worry about the extent or anything else for now and make sure it's saved in the project bookmarks. So the two options you have here are project bookmarks and user bookmarks. Project is going to be saved along with your project and then user is going to be assigned to your account uh, on your computer. It's going to go across all of your projects. That might be useful if you are using the same location in multiple projects. So we're gonna hit save on that. And then if you head over to the browser underneath spatial bookmarks, under project bookmarks, we've got Stonehenge. So let's navigate back to Easter Island and we're gonna create another bookmark, call that Easter Island. Uh, make sure it's in project bookmarks and click save. And now we've got those two there and we can double click on them to jump back and forth between them. So up until now, we've been using what's called the map view, this area here. And this view is kind of a mixture between managing geographical data and styling geographical data. But when we wanna create a printable version of the map, we actually need to use what's called a print layout. A print layout will allow us to add things like titles, legends, north arrows, attributions, area maps, and other things of that nature. Uh, if you head up to your project toolbar again, uh, you can head over to this icon, which is called new print layout. You can also get to it from the project menu or you can press command P. So if I use that, it's gonna ask me for a title. So let's call this layout Stonehenge. And we're gonna open up this window totally. And this is where we're gonna design what the print layout looks like. So the first thing we'd wanna do is if you click this zoom to 100%, you're gonna get the whole page. Uh, you want to right click in this clear area and choose page properties. And if I move myself out of the way, this is where we can set the size of the page. So I'm gonna just set mine to letter and landscape because I'm here in the US. And that has now made the page size correct for us. The next thing we can do is come on over to this label button and we're gonna click and drag to add a label. And over on the right, we can see the properties for that, for that item. Here are all the items in the map. Here are the properties for that particular item. We're just gonna call this Easter Island. No, sorry, this is Stonehenge. And you can do a bunch of things like set the font. Uh, let's make this something a bit bigger. And maybe we'll just use, let's use Futura. And we will center that. And if we stretch this out to the width of the page, that will be centered. Excellent. So probably the most important bit to have on your map is the actual map. So if we come down to these um, buttons over here, there's a button called add map and we can click that and we can drag out the box for our map. And that's going to reference the map view that we were looking at previously. And you now have something that you can print. We can spend some time tweaking the details of all of this and whatnot. Um, 
Now it'd be nice to adjust exactly where we are with this map. If you head on over to the left, you can see there's a button called the Move Item Content. We can also access with the C key. Uh, and this allows us to actually move around inside the map, inside of our print layout. Uh, we can also use the mouse wheel to scroll in. So let's, let's get to about there. And this will be, you can also zoom full, maybe get it looking a little bit better. And now we've got a printable map. So if we want to, let's first save our project so we keep everything up to date. And if you head out to the layout menu and choose export as PDF, you're gonna get this notice. Don't worry about it for now. This is something we can cover later. It's gonna ask you where you wanna save this. So I'm actually gonna suggest calling this Stonehenge 01 because you're probably gonna make multiple edits to your map. It's probably good to add a number to keep track of different versions of it. Click save. And you're gonna get a bunch of options here. Uh, you should be able to leave these all as is and not worry about any of these details just yet. And if you click save, uh, we can head into our project here and we have a PDF now that we can open up. And there is our map. So this is just giving you the basics of navigating, saving projects, finding things, and putting together a map view. Uh, in future episodes, we're going to actually get into the details of bringing in your own data, styling that information, and making a really customized map. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or reach out to me on Mastodon, or you can email me, uh, brian at lostmapper.com. Thank you.